our experience with time itself is shifting. And they, they wanted us to become aware of it. Some of us needed to know that. Um, but with that, it, we really have no past and we really have no future. And so there's parts of our psyche that's happening right now that are freaking out because we don't know where to stand. We don't know what to hold on to. So that is a real thing that's occurring right now because as we shift more and more into the fifth dimensional experience, we're going to talk more about what that is and what that embodies. But in the meantime, as we're shifting into it, we're going to experience less and less time. We're really only going to have the moment. And the more we can surrender to the moment, meaning we're only going to know exactly what we need to know when we need to know it. We don't even need to plan, really. Talk about, you know, for my brain, that's hard because plans are constantly falling through. It's not ever what I expect it to be. It's like, so then I start not feeling safe, right? So this fifth dimensional experience, what that means is and it's a process of moving into almost another dimension or another way of being. It's kind of an embodiment of all of who you are. And with that, experiencing time differently, our um, relationship with even how we're functioning is, is shifting, right? Oh, you want to Yeah, no, I mean, I, I can speak on that a little bit. I can say, you know, I know when I became aware of this frequency, not just within me, but outside of me, I, for like a while, I was like, what's going on? Like, why does it feel so weird? Like, what's so weird? I'll be like, I don't think anything's weird. I don't really know. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to surrender. I'm going to practice. But I would just feel this, like, what's going on? What's happening? Like, until I became integrated with all of that knowing of, okay, all is well. And I'm not swinging back any forth that there was comfort in that. So, you know, just to honor what you're talking about, like that's the fifth dimensional experience. And like, and like, I, I don't know why, but I'm feeling guided to talk about the five and like the two. So if we have two here, which is incredibly stable, the four, and then the five is going to be that, that pendulum on the very top. And that, I don't know why. Yeah. And some would say the fifth dimension is time itself. Right. Right. Um, so yeah, but they're telling me right now, truly, as soon as we begin to embody the fifth dimension is when we start becoming aware of the sixth, just like we're, we're mastering the fourth right now, right? We're, we're learning to create, we, we are learning that we're master creators. That's what the fourth dimension is. We're, we're mastering the physical realm, meaning we understand that we can manifest. We understand we can create whatever we want. We got this, you know, we are divine pieces of God. We got this, we're manifesting fiends, right? We, we get the choice. We understand our divinity and our role in it. And now as we're doing that, we become a we become aware of this fifth dimensional experience. So as soon as we're actually embodying the fifth dimensional experience is when we start really understanding the sixth dimension, which is communicating with other beings of light from other planets. So as weird as that may sound to some, that's, that is the God down truth. Okay. Why are you a sub? I don't know. I'm just, I like to change my voice. Okay when uh, I speak the truth, because it makes more sense to me. <laughs> when I speak in a, okay, I don't know. I don't know. So um, I guess we're showing you the painting. So this painting um, was created a long time ago, really, what feels like a long time ago in 2020. Um, a moment ago. A, a moment happened. ago or like- Doesn't it feel like years? it was, seems like 12 years ago? <laughs> It does. That's, that's the weirdness of time now. It's like, wait, there's no way 2020. That was not even a full 12 months ago. But yeah. Yeah. So this painting um, embodies the process of the fifth dimensional experience. So what that means is it's not a one thing, right? It's really like five different embodiments. So um, this painting has within it, and I'm gonna show you, I'll just show it to you now. Within this painting, it does house um, five different sacred geometry um, symbols. Um, and if you've taken the sacred geometry class, you understand that really what that means, a sacred geometry symbol is nothing but a, a body of energy. So within it, 
right now it looks as, as a two-dimensional design, but it really is a moving, colorful, like geometry, basically. Um, but it's, it's alive. alive. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sorry. God. Jinx. I just jinxed. Anyways, that wasn't as funny to anybody else. But um, so within these five symbols are almost like focuses or mass, um, areas of mastery that you become so familiar with in the fifth dimensional experience. So in some ways it's a very linear way of describing it, but they almost are hesitantly um, describing it to us because we, they don't really want us to be in here. Um, they want us to be out here experiencing it. So feeling it, thinking about it, not to say that the mind has a function, there is um, love here, but it really is meant to be embodied. They were saying to me, and we'll go over what these energy systems or masteries are briefly. Um, it's basically almost like the path to ascension. You know, it is, um, yeah, it's it's the way to finding finding the divinity within, in a way, or um, discovering how do you're embodying, you know, being a human god ish right and to say it just the same exact thing in a different way this is everything that is available to us here now this is within us this is on this planet all of this wisdom this power this divinity like this is here for us They were saying that even though we are breaking it down or we're showing you the symbols and some of the information of what they embody, Brenda and I are going to elaborate on that in a way fuller class because each symbol could be like two days um, and you'll understand more as we hit on them. But they want you to explore the symbols yourself um, and to feel them. But they said, if we could understand what these symbols really do, it would be like a web of light where they're all interacting and connected like a web, um, but they're spinning and they're moving. And they said, they're not just spinning and moving. They are emitting different colors, of course, but they have different even sounds. It's like seeing who we really are on a, in a completely different way. Cause we all embody these symbols within us. So in some ways, it's like, as we align our consciousness and our own light to these um, symbols, if, if that makes sense, um, they kind of come on online, right? They kind of come online. So then they start spinning in a, in a different frequency. We've covered this painting, I think in a- In, in a, a monthly message, a, but yes. not, not it to this extent by any means. I want to say though that if you're practicing integrating this, I just highly recommend getting a print of this portal. It, to be in its presence is moving. It's very profound. So if you're practicing this, which I'm not kind of practicing it, the print is $45. It's kind of a plug for her thing, but I'm telling you, it's just She's plugging. It's, oh, it just, you just want to be in it. You, I mean, like literally like hours, you're just like, okay, I'm still good. I mean, really, it's just, it's the experience of being, it's beautiful in every way. So just, I, I do want to plug that a little bit because that's help. This is what our paintings are for. This is what they do for us. It's amazing. 